Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and I definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended family, thank you so much for the, you know, the beautiful vibes you send amongst me as I return them to you. And you sit amongst everybody else. It's so greatly appreciated. It's just like everybody's giving a welcome hug, and I love that. So, with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are yet to come for you. And if you have been watching my channel for a while, or watching my videos for a while, and have not already, what are you waiting for? Like and subscribe, even hit that notification bell so you know when the girl's about to upload the next video. And if you feel like you're comfortable enough, go ahead and drop me a line or two. I'll love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me, or even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video, or you're telling me about your empathic gift that's been placed upon you. Or if you feel like the video is just, you know, gave you some good good information or just put you in a good spot go ahead and spread the love give me a thumbs up like and even share it's all greatly appreciated and thank you so much for stopping by my channel today and i hope you are able to get something out of the content of my video and thank you so much for stopping by and the meditation music i'm listening to today is 528 hertz miracle tone repairs dna nine hours of meditation music and i'll post that in the link in the description box below and the content of my video today is twin flame 101 hey, uh, all empaths are you living or existing i got so many if y'all can only see i just got so many things written down that i always have to talk about and i just check it off just check it off <laughs> so no but it was like today for the first time y'all in a long time i went to the store with my daughter you know she had you know today was her first day of school and you know my i'm a senior my daughter is a senior this is my last daughter in school y'all it made me feel a sister feel old i got two in college and one that's graduating this year you know a sister is proud and but um yeah we went to the store today and this lady just came up to me and she was like, um, I know this might sound crazy. And I'm just like, oh, Lord, every time somebody come up to you and say it might sound crazy, usually it is. But it actually wasn't. And she was holding her son and she was just like, well, if you're not doing anything today, would you mind going to a revival? And I'm just like, you know, with you being an indigo, we, we don't we don't do, you know, even though we try to go to church, at least with me. I don't know about other people, but it's not nothing about religion or anything like that. But it's just like when I can feel the energy is not coming from a right place and you're trying to teach me to go to this rightful place up in the sky, you can't be leading me that way if you're not sure about your religion. You, if you're not sure about the path that you're on, you can't lead me. The blind can't be leading the blind. But it's just, the, you know, it was just a beautiful service. I went by the church and it was just like, but what, what was crazy is just after the woman had walked off. I came overwhelmed with emotions just by her telling me, you know, if you want to stop by a church, you know, it's, it's an hour and a half. It's just right around the corner from my house. So I just went ahead and went. And I mean, it was such a blessing because, I mean, I got, as soon as I got there, it was like, you know how when you're, when you're trying to get to your, you know, to that better moment in your life, you're just trying to get there. You just asking God for signs, any kind of signs, they'll get you in that right spot. And it was just like, before she can tell me that and I got emotions and as soon as I hit the door this woman already started talking about how you gotta walk the walk and talk the talk everything that basically I be telling y'all in my videos this woman is kind of like a prophet or whatever because it was just like I went in front of the church I joined the church because it was just like any other time I've been to a church, I've never felt comfortable there. They always judge me for some reason. Either I wasn't dressed enough, or I wasn't holy enough, or I wasn't churchy enough, or I wasn't this, I wasn't that. You know, especially after going through all I went through, and, you know, my father, you know, my adopted father being a pastor on all top of that. You know, it made me kind of look at pastors in that way, you know, because it's like pretty much almost every pastor I've came across, like... They try to come off holier than now. And it's not all of them because, you know, I have a, another good friend that's a pastor, too. Um, that just stopped me, making me look at pastors that way. Not all of them are like that, you know. 
but it's just like if you're trying to lead me down somewhere and you doing all this stuff that regular folks are doing that you you know you're trying to lead to the promised land how are you gonna do that and you're doing that too so it's just like are you living here are you existing and that's what she was talking about i'll say you know what i've always i always used to ask my, myself that because it's just like when you hear older people talking about it you know, especially if you be around older folks, you know, uh, around like your great grandparents or your great, you know, your parents, you know, you got to be, you know, you got to be, don't be living to survive, but you got to live to live. You know what I'm saying? Like you have to live from paycheck to paycheck or whatever. It's not good to live like that. You know, even sometimes, it's, you know, it sucks. It happens that way. But we, we don't need to walk around this earth and, you know, we got so many things in our heads. We got so many talents. We got so many stories to tell, so many boundaries to push, so many envelopes to be pushing. And you're just walking around clueless. Like, I don't know what my purpose is. And there's a lot of people that are walking around existing like that. I don't want to exist. I want to live. You know, I want to find my purpose in life, find out what I'm good at. You know, find the things that I can do to contribute towards this earth on making it a better place. You know, that's why I'm trying to lead people to. I'm living. I'm not going to be existing. And that's the big question that people need to ask themselves. Are you living to be living? Or are you living to be existing? You know, and it's just it's not a good thing to be existing because that means you're not going nowhere. You're just going around that little hamster circle. You have to be able to, you know, press past the things that we're going through. Look at things and know things are going to get better for us. And it's just like, you know, if you can't find that way, you need to lead towards that path. Because it's just like when you're asking for signs and, and you know things are not working out the way you want them to. That's when God's trying to tell you and universe trying to tell you to step aside and let us go ahead and lead you to where we got to lead you to. We got your back. You know, it was just like when I met that woman today and I told her there's no there's no accidents or coincidence that you just so happen to come by me and ask me that, you know. And then she was just like, you know, that's crazy or whatever. But just by you doing what God asked you to do, he's going to move some mountains for you. And I told her, I feel that all the time. Because when they ask me to speak this, I speak it. When you tell me to talk on this content, I talk on it. Because there's so many people that are going through so many different things. And it's just like, uh, excuse me, I constantly hear, Rosalind, you're in my head. You're in my thoughts. You might be knowing what I'm going through. We all know what we're, I, I know what everybody's going through, even when I don't know you. Because I know that when I make a video, it's meant for somebody that's going through the exact same thing I'm going through. A lot of people probably been through this, or they can see themselves heading towards that way, or they probably already experienced it and just trying to figure their way in life. And that's fine. As long as you know when you're trying to wake up in the next morning and trying to say, okay, what's the game plan? What am I about to do? Am I going to sit here and be depressed? Or am I going to sit up here and try to do something with my life? Because, I mean, there's days, I, like I tell y'all, I keep it 250 with y'all if I possibly can. <laughs> you know, I have days where I cry. I have days, you know, I mean, earlier today, I've, I've been emotional. Don't know where it came from. But I guess it's just everything that, you know, I'm releasing, there's still stuff that needs to be released. Because that's a lot of stuff to go through. You know, I gave y'all little bits and snippets of the things that I've been through because it's like I like I if you've been in my my on my channel for a while, you'll know that I wrote a book about my life, of the things I experienced going on in life, and I know that that's gonna be a game changer for me. And it's just like it's pretty much like the daggone Winchester house. <laughs> I feel like, you know, Miss Winchester, you know, except, that, you know, I ain't dealing with guns and, you know, the haunted house and whatever. But basically, my book is not done until they say it's done. At, at this point in time, it's done. You know, but if there's things that need to be added on to it, then, you know, it need be. But it's just on my journey, you know, I learned so many things about myself that, you know, shocked me. But then when I looked at it as a different perspective, I enjoyed what I found out, you know, it explained a lot, you know, because it doesn't make any sense when, you know, when you're a child and you see the things that you see, you know, you're, you know, if you're a movie person, you probably notice that some of the movies that you might pick might resonate with your life in some kind of weird way, you know, and it could be me. I watch a lot of horror movies with my kids, especially with my, my youngest daughter. She loves horror movies. 
So that's pretty much all she want to watch. But it's just like lately I haven't really been watching any movies. I just watch a lot of YouTube, you know, especially getting on, you know, the YouTubers and stuff like that that I commune with or whatever. And if I have not got to you yet, don't think I ain't coming because I've been tipping towards everybody. So if I haven't got to you, know I'm coming. But it's just like when we when we go through this, try not to take this. Live your life, you know, because we, we, it's so short. And it's just like when I have worked with elderly and I've talked to them and it's just even things I've read up on when we get when we get to that golden age, that blessed age. I, I really feel like, you know, some people frown upon senior citizens and stuff like that. Yeah, it's a scary feeling. We all get old. <laughs> we all get old. You know, then we got to worry about who going to take care of us then or whatever. But um a lot of things that I hear, used to hear senior citizens say is just like, there's a lot of things that they wish in life that they did differently. Like if they would have really lived their life the way they, you know, really wanted to live their life the way they're supposed to, either because they're worried about what people thought or they were scared to come out that comfort zone or, you know, they didn't want to press that envelope because they were worried about what people thought. But if they could turn back time, they would do that. So, I mean, it's a blessing when you can actually sit down, you know, and talk to your, you know, talk to your grandparents, you know, it, 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 I'm not blessed like that. You know, my grandparents are, you know, up in, up in heaven, but, um, it was just like when I had that blessing to be able to actually sit down and talk to somebody that was up in age that actually can tell me something, you know, give me some old wisdom and stuff like that. Cause it's good to listen to old folks <laughs> and they can tell you a lot of things that, you know, even though it might not make sense to you, if you go through that situation, you will understand exactly what they're talking about, but you know, live your life. Life is too short press that envelope do things out of the box that you don't normally do you know I have to try to find myself the way you know I usually don't step out and be extroverted especially amongst people and actually feel comfortable in doing it and I actually did it tonight you know even though I usually don't do that you know I get nervous and stuff like that because the devil's on my back oh it's too late you ain't got nothing to wear or you know this and this and this and that you know you don't you might not know where it is and I'm just like if you don't shut up I'm gonna do what I need to do so I went ahead and went to church, and I enjoyed myself, and I said, this is not going to be my last time going, because I actually went somewhere that made me feel comfortable, made me feel like, you know what, I'm coming in here to learn something, and I'm not going to leave the way I came in here. So when you're, when you're on your journey, push that envelope. Don't be scared of worrying about what people are going to think. Don't, you know, usually when we want change, we're going to have to deal with that uncomfortableness. You know, things that might aggravate us, might anger, you know, anger us a little bit. Maybe even sideways get confused, but it's okay. You know, when you're on that change, a lot of things gonna be shaken up. A lot of things you're not gonna expect. A lot of things aren't gonna be comfortable. But when you know, you when the stakes are very high, <laughs> you know, when you want something that's up there, the stakes gonna be very high. You know, you're gonna have to go through some deep stuff really deep stuff because it's just like when I look at my life the stuff that you know I have to let go can seem so simple <laughs> it can seem so simple to the average person but with the person that's actually dealing with it that that's the you know that that thing could be right in their face and that could be temptation it can keep them away from all their blessings and I dangle with that all the time and it's okay because you know you, your strength your strength comes each and every day it takes one day at a time and it's not going to change overnight but knowing when you're able to push that envelope and you know you want to try hey, first steps everything comes easier after that so i hope you are able to resonate with what i was talking about in my video i hope everybody had a blessed week this week is almost over it was hump day so i hope everybody is blessed and highly favored send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can know that you are blessed and highly favored and you are truly loved and know there's always somebody out there playing playing uh, praying for your better good i don't know why i was having issues with that word but anyway, somebody's always praying for your better good. <laughs> so, like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl about to upload the next video. And 
go ahead and drop me a line. I love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. You know, just drop me a line. I love a chance to you even tell me about amazing empathic story. I even love when people tell me about their stories about their empath. Or if you feel like this video is very informative and you would love to spread the word, give me a thumbs up, like it, and share. And I will see you on my next video. Peace and be wild.